Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, another tutorial. In the last video we were looking at uh, creating um, house style specification and uh, we did step number three and uh, we ended on uh, evidence uh, uh, we're creating the we took our evidence of um, the subheading style and um, we were supposed to start step number four so in this video let's go ahead and do step number four so step number four says place in the header the text tawara health club left aligned automated page number right aligned okay so this is going to be in the header so let's go ahead and do that so in set and then in the header um put um Let's go ahead. Uh, where was that? <laughs> okay, I've selected footer. So it's supposed to be in the header. Then left aligned is supposed to be Tawara Health Club. Okay, so Tawara Health Club. Club. Okay, left aligned. And then right aligned is supposed to be automated page number. Okay, so let's go ahead and automated page number right align so here you are going to go to quick paths and um, select the field and then just tap p on your keyboard to go to the um, p um, field names and then select the format there and just say okay so that's there so what you want to do also is that if you're not going to put anything uh, in between here just delete this part okay you don't need that text just that if that is you're not going to put anything that side okay so next um so let's go there and let's find out what's next place in the footer your center number and content number left aligned and then automated file name only no path right aligned okay so let's go ahead center number and content number left aligned so insert footer this time so left aligned you put your center number zm556 comma your uh, your candidate number which is 0001 just verify that so it's center number and candidate number left aligned and then automated file name without path right aligned so again go to quick paths and then there and tap f on your keyboard to go to file name okay this time we're not going to put any uppercase or lowercase or any path okay so don't check this part okay just leave it and there you go again we are going to delete this part because we don't need this unless we are told okay so apply the style thc header um underscore footer to the header and footer text and make sure that all the alignments match the page margins and then there is no other text included in the header and footer area so this is what we did we deleted the, that text remember and then headers and footers are displayed on all pages okay so that should be fine so we just need to apply now the style so select this part and apply the style um, that you created so which one is it now um, THC um, header footer which is this one so apply that and then go to the top part as well and thc header footer apply that as well okay so we are done with this part so we are done with this step and the how you make sure that the alignments matched margins i'll show you um when you select when you insert a footer and you select blank three columns like this automatically or by default um word aligns this text here type here with the left margin this one is aligned center and this one is aligned with the right margin so this that's why i love the blank three column because you don't need to um, start to physically realign uh, these um, with the margin so how you can check that is that just um, just click the margin there you will see that t and the other stuff is within the margin and just click there and you also see that um, one and the other stuff is also in the margin so the other thing verify that you have every stuff uh, all the, uh, the headers and footers are appearing on every single page and that should be perfectly fine okay so we're done with step number four and there is your three marks and uh, we'll go to step number five at the start of the document enter the title new stuff induction okay so let's go at the start of the document the start of the document is this one so we're going to 
put our cursor there and hit enter key on the keyboard once and then put um, what was the name again <laughs> new stuff induction new stuff induction okay so that is that new stuff induction um, next apply the the THC title style to this text um, so just triple click on um, this one and apply the THC title so let's go ahead and look for THC title it's this one good and next step seven below the title add the subtitle report prepared by and then add your name okay so below the title so just put your case there hit enter key and type report um, prepared by and then put your name Chikasa Evans okay triple click on this one and let's see what we give it so apply the uh, THC subtitle um, to this text so let's go ahead THC and then go ahead and look for subtitle that's the one <coughs> okay so next um, apply the THC body style to the rest of the document so the rest of the document is from here and scroll down all the way to the last one and apply this one body now you notice like I said previously that you need to be very careful when you apply the styles to um, this document um, because it had multiple uh, font styles and font sizes and so you need to verify that individual paragraphs and everything else has got the um, the exact uh, title that is supposed to be uh, I mean a style that is supposed to be there so how you do that is by physically checking that everything has actually been applied so you can check for example this one check that it's time new romance 7 but if you scroll down check this one this is time new romance 14 but we did apply and it's showing that the THC body star has been applied okay so how you do that just select this paragraph and reapply that again select any paragraph that you you are suspicious of not having the title and um, reapply that okay so that is going to be perfectly fine so this one as well just reapply um, reapply everything else seems to be fe perfect okay so guys this is where what I was uh, saying in the last video that uh, you need to be very careful when you're working with um, um, uh, a document that has got multiple font styles and sizes within it because one style when you should, should try to apply it throughout the document even if you selected everything with control a or highlight everything and then apply that style it won't work out okay so you need to physically check and verify that all styles actually are as required um, um, in the exam okay right so next thing that we want to do now is to go to um, step number 10 display all the text after the second paragraph which ends complete with your line manager into two columns uh, of equal width with a one centimeter space between them okay so the text after which ends complete with your line manager which is the second paragraph so second paragraph is this one and the text in question is this one so which means all the text from company mission all the way to the last one okay uh, here you need to split it into uh, two columns so go to more columns and then select two columns and then the spacing make it one centimeter and say okay and there you go okay so that is that next identify the nine subheadings in the document and apply the THC subheading style to each one okay so let's go ahead and identify the subheadings nine of them so starting with company mission then mentoring, um, then uniform and appearance. Just double click on them, then absence and disability awareness and uh, use of ICT equipment and general conduct. Now, how do you know that these are subheadings? They usually stand out on their own. There is space after them and space before them. So they they, they, they are just like that and you know that they are there. So um, and virus po policy as well and policies and procedures is also a subheading. Um, confidentiality is also no it's not a subheading okay because it is part of this part here 
Okay, so let's count them. This is 1, 2, um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so there are 9 of them, and then let's put them as uh, subheadings. Okay, that's subheading. Okay, so next we are going to. Okay, so next we are going to go to step 12. Open the file n216contacts.csv and insert the contents as a table within the column width after the text which you may find useful. So what you can do is that you, you just need to know this text which you may find useful. Then go here and hit Control F on your keyboard and type which, um, which you may find useful. And this is the text here. So just after this text, put the cursor there and hit enter key so that um, the next line is going to take the property of the previous line, which is the alignment and everything is going to be perfect, just like there. Okay, so we may want to get this file now, contacts.csv, and let's go to our um, folder and contacts.csv. So we're going to open this in Excel and then select this and just double uh, click on the boundary so that the table is visible and then drag and highlight this and then just copy this Control c on your keyboard and then um, paste it there Control v on your keyboard and it should be pasted there now guys what i'd like to do when you have a table like this the first thing that you need to do is to um put the borders now uh, in some questions like in this case we would be told probably not to put the borders but for the sake of working with this table you need to see where the boundaries of each cells are and then you can remove the borders if you are asked not to uh, put the borders okay this is very important guys because you don't know for example that um, this one here keep a snail what is happening here what is here what is there we don't know okay it looks as though this is just a heading so go ahead and select it like that and then show some borders so just select all borders and you see that you have a table which looks like that okay so this is very important guys and later on you will see why it's very important because if you don't put that you won't be knowing how you are putting boundaries and how the text is adjusting and so on and so forth now your your guide is going to be this one the first one says um step 13 says that um delete the row containing the data for andy clark okay so let's go ahead and look uh, for andy clark so andy clark is this one so when you have a selection like that double click um just double click that is selected then right click um, so just double click that then right click I don't know <laughs> okay so what I want is to get this um, this um, table and let's go ahead and um, let's see delete row okay so the selected row has been deleted so don't forget about that one so that I'll just undo this so that I, I show you how it's done so just double click on this one so that the row is selected and then when you uh, the moment you double click on this one you see this pop-up menu which says delete please don't click on delete because this one deletes the table as you can see here it has indicated that you're deleting the table but on the arrow that is just uh, let me just move the mouse away on the arrow that is just pointing down here just here you just click there and you're going to have um, a drop down menu and select delete rows okay and then you have your rows deleted just like that now Step 14 says format the first row of the table to be bold and underlined, center aligned over the three columns. Now what this means over three columns is that when you have a table like this, and if it's going to be center aligned over three columns, it means it's as good as merging these cells. Okay, so this is why I said it's important that you see the borders of this table so that you don't. So let's go ahead and merge this table, uh, these um, cells. Just double, um, double click on them, and uh, with merge and center. Okay, so let's. Um, I'm looking for major center. <laughs> so just right click there. Um, let's see. Um, so, alternatively, I can just drag there. And um, I don't know what's happening. I can't seem to select 
my items here on the menu but I'll tap my keyboard menu and see there is merge there and there is that so the next thing is just to center that okay so go back here um, it's supposed to be center aligned over three columns which we have just done and then it's supposed to be bold and underlined um, bold and underlined and um, it's supposed to be shaded with a gray light um, with a light gray background of about 20 to uh, 40 percent so let's go there and shade it okay so shading is here and when you hover your mouse there you will see that there will be some percentages that is going to appear so this is white background um, but it's a bit gray uh, let's see this one this is black um, this is black um, this is 50 percent 35 percent 35 percent is okay because we are told it's supposed to be between um, 25 20 and 40 percent so that should be fine okay so next step is step 15 make sure that the THC table style is applied to row 2 to 8 of the table so let's go and apply to row 2 and 8 or to 8 so row 2 to 8 is this one and we apply the table so THC uh, table is this one we've applied it and next uh, make sure that the numbers are right aligned so go back here the numbers are these ones here okay just make sure that they are right aligned like that okay and um, text in its cell does not wrap so let's find out if there's text wrapping so we see that this cell there is text wrapping so what you do take your cursor just at the boundary of this cell and double click and um, uh, well it has just enlarged one one cell so just undo this just double click from here because we selected it so we didn't uh, need to select it just double click from here and it's there and then also you see that health and safety is also um, um, wrapping so take your cursor here and double click and you see the start okay so notice also how the margin for the table fits within the margin of the columns or the text that you have there um, both this side and this side so this is perfectly fine so let's go back here and then here it says only an outside border is displayed when printed and now this is where we need to remove the borders because when you come here this text is showing the outside border uh, this table is showing the outside border as well as the inside borders as you can see the demarcations inside the cells these are inside borders okay so you need to remove the inside so how you can do that just select the entire table and then go to borders and say no border first and then go back there and say outside border only and that should be the case like that okay so let it be like that so that looks perfectly fine okay so let's go back here so we're done with step number 15 and um, um, okay so I think I'm gonna end this video on step number 15 I don't know how long it is um, yeah that's 18 minutes <laughs> okay that should be fine so I'm going to end this video on step number um, 15 and then in the next video we're going to continue with step number 16 okay so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you just in a short while in the next video